Thank you for your very warm welcome in very cold uh, U.S. winter, but your hearts are very warm, and so we feel very, very welcome and at ease and grateful to be with you. There is a Kirtan festival going on, and that's how I came to have your association, the invitation of the youth, younger generation devotees who are organizing this festival, which is most wonderful. And I was told that the theme of the festival was Kola Bechar Shridha. I was asked to speak specifically about this associate of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Some of you may know his glory, others of you may not, but we all are benefited when we hear over and again the glory of Krishna and his associates, of his devotees. Kolavechara Sridhar, he appeared prior to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Mayapur Navadweep Dham. He was like the same age as Ch Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's father. He was a pundit, a brahmana, but he was very, very poor. And he lived by selling banana plantains, banana flowers, banana stalks taken from the center of the banana tree. Some of you know. Many of you know. You can slice the banana trunk and take out the center part, and that's also used for preparing bhoga for Krishna. And so he lived a very, so he would make banana uh, plates from the leaves, some bowls. He lived a very simple life uh, in terms of material activity. What he sold, he would take 50% and he would use for Ganga Puja. Because next to Mayapur Navadip Dham flows Ganga Devi. So 50%. Some of you, you have heard Prabhupada say, 50% you use for service. So Kolavecha Sridhar is a nice example of that. 50% of whatever he made from his selling of banana produce, he would sell some also. They would grow on the land some pumpkins, some gourds. And 50% was used for seva. And as a child, Nimai, as he was then known, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he would go with his mother and she would purchase some of these produce from Sridhar. His name is Sridhar Pandit. He was a pundit. But he's living a very simple life. And because he sold these banana produce, the, the, the villagers, the village nickname for him was Kola Vecha. His name is Sridhar Pandit, but the village name. I grew up in Mayapur in the Gurukul, so yeah, everyone had a nickname. <laughs> and so his nickname, village name, was Kola Vechar, banana tree or banana bark, I think is <laughs> how they called him. So Mahaprabhu would go with his mother, and she would purchase some items from him. And then as Nimai became a little older, he saw how in the market, when there was trade, there was haggling as well. So Nimai, he would go and look for him and then come over and say, we want bananas. And he would give the price and Nimai would say, it's too much. You're asking too much. We will give you whatever he, Kolavecha said, Nimai would give half. I don't know, some of you may be expert at bargaining. Uh, going down half is quite steep. And the thing with Sridhar is that he was a Brahmin. He would only ever speak truth. So when he gave the price, it was actually the proper price. In the market, someone might say, for you I make no profit. But for Sridhar, that was actually true. And so Nimai, he, as he grew, he had this fun exchange with Sridhar. He enjoyed haggling. 
So he would go seek, seek out Sridhar on the way back from school, or later when he was a teacher, as a student, or as a teacher, on the way back from school, on the way back from the camp. Where's Sridhar? He would find him, and then he would say, I want this, I want that. Sridhar would give the price, and then he would say, half. And Sridhar would say, no, no, there's no, no profit in this for me. I'm giving you the right price. And he would try to take back from Nimai. Nimai would pull it back. No, no, I've already selected these items. And there would be this exchange between them. Shridhar, Nimai would look for him. Shridhar would be waiting for him all day. Because he had much love for this boy as he was watching him grow more and more beautiful, Gorda Sundar. And so Shridhar would be waiting for him. Nimai would be looking for him. They would have this exchange, and then Nimai would uh, bargain down. In the end, Shridhar would say, really, I have nothing. You just take it. You go. <laughs> Leave me. <laughs> take what you, I, I don't want your money. You just go. Like this, they had some exchange between them. And so I will discuss with you five pastimes in brief. Once Nimai said to him, Sridhar, you are a poor, a poor man. I mean, look at your clothes. There are more holes in your clothes than there is actually cloth. You've repaired it so many times, and I can see it's more holes than actually threads of, of clothing there. And your house, it's full of holes. You are a devotee of... Vishnu, but look around you. Other people, they have big houses, they have fancy clothes. Maybe you should be doing some demigod worship instead. Your neighbors, they're worshiping Chandi, they're worshiping Kali. They're wealthy. You're worshiping Vishnu, you're poor. Maybe you change your worship. You can be more prosperous. You will be better off. And Sridhar, he said to Nimai, he said, the king, the king has fancy clothes, big palace, opulent food, and the bird, the sparrow, it has some seeds, some nest. But essentially, they're doing the same things. The king is looking for uh, its um, security, satisfaction. The bird is looking for its satisfaction, its food, its security. But what is the difference? Actually, it is Vishnu who is taking care of everyone. The king is not happier than the sparrow. The sparrow, sparrow not uh, more miserable than the king. Essentially, in this world, people, they search for these basic necessities, they are all being maintained by the Lord, and no one is happier or less happy than the other. I don't need to worship anyone else. I am just dedicating my life to the Supreme Lord Vishnu. If he wants to give, who will stop him? If he wants to take, who will stop him? And so he showed his, uh, his faith in the Lord. He said... Uh, when, when Nimai heard this response, he said, Kola Vechar Shridhar, I see you have some other wealth. People think you are poor. You're walking with these clothes with many holes. But now I'm giving you some advice how you can increase your wealth. You're refusing it. I can see you have some other wealth. You are a millionaire or a multi, multi millionaire, but it is hidden. It is not seen by others. And he said, and one day I will show this wealth to everyone. I will reveal your secret. Uh, so what is that wealth that he has? That is the wealth of love, love and devotion. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is attracted to him. There are so many people in the market but Nimai Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is Krishna himself, he is looking for Sridhar. And he wants to barter and bargain with him. 
and Sridhar is pulling his bananas back and Nima is taking them from him. And there is this loving exchange between Nima is looking for him. Why? Because Sridhar is one who's wealthy with that love. Patram pushpam phalam toyam yome bhakti prayachati taraham bhakti chari. Uh, if one offers me with love and devotion a leaf, a flower, a fruit, or water, I will accept it. And so Krishna, Nimai, Krishna, he's looking for uh, Shridhar's leaves and fruits, and he's relishing these. Another time, Nimai met him in the market, and he said to him, Shridhar, who do you think I am? He was, they were bargaining, bartering. Sridhar is telling him, no, no, you give those things back. You can't have them for the price you're asking. And Nimai said, who do you think I am? And Sridhar, he thought for a second, and he says, well, you are a brahmana, but you are also part and parcel of Vishnu. Everyone, we're all part and parcel of Vishnu. Nimai said, you think I am part and parcel of Vishnu, but who I really am is the personality who brings the glory to Ganga. Not part of Vishnu, I am Vishnu. And Sridhar, he said, whoa, as you get older, you become more, <laughs> more proud. Most people, they get older, they become more humble. And you, somehow, it's the opposite. You take your bananas and go... <laughs> <laughs> you go from here. And so, Nimai told him, look, you are worshipping Ganga every day, but you can just worship me. Give me your bananas, give me your plates, and you worship me and everything will be taken care of. So, sometime thereafter, there was a special leela of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu called the Maha Prakash Leela. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he is Krishna, but he's hidden, Chana Avatar. Krishna Vanam Tvisha Krishna, Sango Pangas Chaparshadam. He is Krishna himself, but he is not darkish, blackish blue. He is Gaura. He is Krishna himself, but that Krishna nature it is hidden behind a bhakta bhav. Bhagavan bhav has been covered or hidden by a bhakta bhav. But sometimes Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's Bhagavan bhav becomes manifest and he shows himself and he identifies and he interacts with the devotees as the Supreme Lord. Sometimes it comes up. He, he doesn't hold it back, but it becomes prominent. And so during this Mahaprakash Leela, 21 hours, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu entered into this Bhagavan Bhav, this mood as the Supreme Lord. And at that time, he told the devotees, bring Shridhar. Actually, the devotees of Mahaprabhu, they didn't really know Shridhar at this time. Because these interactions, they were with small Nimai over the years. He he was interacting with Shridhar by the marketplace, but it wasn't part of his Sankirtan Leela with Vaishnavas that he, these relationships that he had cultivated with the Vaishnava community. But they found him, and they brought Shridhar, and uh, when he saw Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu showed him some different forms. He showed him Sadvuj. Sadvuj means six arms. Two arms as... Ramachandra, two arms as Krishna, two arms as Chaitanya, a very special form. He showed him Chaturbhuja, he showed him Vishnu, because he's a devotee of Vishnu. He showed him Krishna, because actually he is a cowherd boy. Um, his eternal role, his name is Kusum Sava, uh, Shaka, cowherd boy. He showed him Krishna Balaram. And then he told him, Shridhar, ask me for something. Ask me. I'm the Supreme Lord. Ask me anything. What do you want? Take something from me. 
So this is Sridhar's chance. If you remember, I started by saying that his clothes have more ho holes than thread. His roof has holes in it. Nimai has been giving him some advice <laughs> from childhood, how he could better his material situation, worship demigods. Um, now he has a chance to ask the Supreme Lord for anything. Nimai, in the mood of the Supreme Lord, you said, you take from me the Asta Siddhi, the eight mystic perfections. Yogis, they spend, in, they spend lifetimes to get these Asta Siddhi, anima, mahima, and so on, to be bigger than the biggest, heavier than the heaviest, smaller than the smallest, lighter than, and so on. Kolovichar said, I don't want that. <laughs> Ask me for opulences of uh, a kingdom. I don't want that. Ask me for liberation. I don't want that. What do you want? Ask me for something. Sridhar said, if you want me to take something from you, then hear my request. That birth after birth, I will always have the vision of Nimai bargaining with me in the marketplace. Bless me that I always have this vision and this opportunity to offer some seva, some bananas, some banana leaves, and some other offerings, and that Nimai will take these from my hand. That's all I want. So you see, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu revealed the love of his devotee, the treasure of this devotee. What do I want? All I want is to love you. What do I want? All I want is this relationship, this loving relationship. Sometime later, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he was leading the Sangratan to challenge the ruler, Chandkazi. And as he was bringing the Sangratan back from the Kazi's house after their discussion, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu decided to go past Sridhar's house. And as he saw Sridhar's house in the distance with its holes in the roof, he became very jubilant as he's leading the Sankirtan. He brought all the devotees to Sridhar's house and they had Sankirtan in the courtyard. Yeah, one minute. Ah, okay. Okay, I was going by a clock here that I had zero time remaining, but I'm just told that I have 10 minutes. That changes things. So he, when he saw Sridhar's house, he became jubilant, and he led the Sangatan in the Sridhar Angam, the courtyard of Sridhar. You can actually visit it even today. Who's been to Mayapur? Okay, quite some hands and many hands not. In Mayapur, there is a Jagannath Mandir, Rajapur, and near to Rajapur, uh, the Jagannath Temple, there are many gardens with uh, mango trees, mango orchards. And one of those orchards, there is the place where Sridhar's house was. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took the Sangratan there, and he saw Sridhar's pot for water. Currently, remember, he's very poor. He doesn't have a copper pot or a bell metal pot, he has an iron pot, and it's very old, many dents and holes. <laughs> He's repaired it a few times, some patches on the pot. And uh, Nimai, he's been leading Kirtan for a long time. He's had this discussion with Chankazi. Now he sees Sridhar's pot with water, and he took that pot and drank the water that was there in Sridhar's pot, and Sridhar fainted. No, no, don't, <laughs> don't drink from there. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he showed again how he appreciates the devotee, and he's showing us to appreciate the devotee. He's seen this as, the, as a nectar, actually, the Mahaprasad the, of Sridhar. And so he drank that water, and he felt himself blessed drinking that water from Sridhar's old iron pot. Sometime after that, 
there is a pastime that the night before Nimai Pandit decided to take sannyas. Shridhar, devotees around, they had a sense that something's coming. Nimai had been transformed after visiting Gaya and meeting his spiritual master, Ishvara Puri. He came back transformed in pure love of God. He wasn't able to teach his, in his school anymore because he just wanted to talk Krishna's names rather than Sanskrit grammar. And he had been leading Sankirtan, but people felt that something was changing. Sachimata knew it. I mean, she felt it. Nimai will take sannyas. And other devotees, Sridhar, they felt something's changing. And so that, that evening, they came to Nimai's home. And so Nimai was sitting there with Gadadhar, with Nitai, with Srivas, and Sridhar arrived. And he came with some pumpkin, some, yeah, some pumpkin. And he gave that as an offering to Nimai. Again, what does he have? He has some bananas, he has some pumpkin <laughs> that grows on his land. Of, he has his heart. So that, that pumpkin was a symbol of his heart. And Nimai received it and he knew, tonight I'm taking, tonight I will leave home in the early morning. I will not be able to take Sridhar's pumpkin. And so he asked his mother, please prepare this now. And so in America, people have pumpkin pie, right? Halloween pumpkin pie. In Mayapur, Navadweep, even today, people make pumpkin kheer. Now, I don't know. We're, we are from various parts of India here. Uh, some of you may know the taste of pumpkin kheer. Others of you may not. But it is, in fact, quite nice. And so Mahaprabhu asked his mother, please take it and prepare kheer. It's good for a kadasi. Pumpkin kheer. And so she made the kheer for Mahaprabhu, and then she gave it to him, to Srivas, to Nitai, to Garadhar, to the others. So they were all taking this pumpkin kheer together. The pumpkin given with love by Sridhar, cooked by Sachimata. And Sachimata, she gave the kheer to uh, Nimai, and she said, I have a request for you. Mother, please ask whatever you want. She said, please never leave me. Always stay with me. He's planning to take sannyas the next morning. He hasn't told anyone. She knows. Sridhar knows. Nityan, other people, they feel that this change is coming. So she says, please never leave me. And so what does he say? He's a good son. He doesn't want to refuse her. He says, Mother, people will always call me Sachi Nandana, the son of Sachi. And when people call me by that name, and when they sing that name, we will always be together. Jai Sachi Nandana, Jai Sachi Nandana. 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 When you say those names, then you will make Sachi Mata very happy. You will get her, you will make Nimai, you will make Chaitanya Mahaprabhu very happy, and you will make Sachi Mata very happy. They will be together. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will be fulfilling the request of his mother as he was eating the kheer made from pumpkin given by Kolavechar Sridhar. And so Bhaktivinoda Thakur, he prophesied that a time would come when 
Russians, Americans, French, Prussians, English will sing together with their Indian brothers and sisters. Jai Sachinandana, Jai Sachinandana. Jai Sachinandana, Jai Sachinandana. And Bhaktivinoda Thakur envisaged this, and Prabhupada, he made it come to pass. Indrajuna Maharaj tells the story how he was with, on Mayapur Parikrama in 1970, I won't say exactly the year, but something like 75, 76. And they were coming from the um, appearance place of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Yogpit, the devotees of Srila Prabhupada, Russians, well, Americans, French, Germans, <laughs> uh, English, they were all doing kirtan. And then they saw coming towards them a kirtan group with Indian devotees, Bengalis and Biharis and Marathis and so many coming in kirtan. And the two parties saw each other. They were both followers of Bhaktivinoda Thakur, Bhakti Siddhanta Sar. And they, two groups, they were coming towards one and they both looked. This is it. And so both groups started to sing. Jai Sachinandana, Jai Sachinandana. Jai Sachinandana, Jai Sachinandana. And the two Sankirtan parties started moving to, to closer and closer and faster and faster. And when they met, it was like the meeting of the Ganga and the Yamuna. And the devotees all embraced one another and they danced together joyfully because they knew this is the moment. Bhaktivinoda Thakur's vision, his prophecy is being fill, filled in this moment. So there are some reflections on Kola Vechar Sridhar, he shows us that the devotee's heart is what is most important. Not what they have, not what they offer. Duryodhana, he had great palace, he had so many things. Vidura, he had nothing. But in the, the Vaishnava, what they offer is most important because what they offer is their heart. And the heart of the Vaishnava, it is, it is the heart of a billionaire because <laughs> it is rich with love for Krishna. And so that is the heart that we must cultivate together in Sangha, in Kirtan, when we hear Bhagavad Gita, when we associate with Vaishnavas, we cultivate that heart. That is the heart that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu looks for. He goes to the marketplace looking for that heart. He wants that heart. And if you have that heart and you offer it to him, then you will he will be yours. Shri Kolabachar Shridhar Ki Jai Shishi Gornitai Ki Shishi Radha Sham Sundar Ki Hare Krishna Maha Mantra Ki Srila Prabhupada Ki Samavita Bhakta Vindaki Vitai Gaur Premanandi Shri Kolabachar Shridhar Ki Jai Shishi Gornitai Ki Shishi Radha Sham Sundar Ki Hare Krishna Maha Mantra Ki Shri Prabh